Win streaks are on the line at Strawway. We have the former title challenger, Karolina Kovalkiewicz, taking on the former champ over with the LFA. It is little monster Vanessa Demopoulos. Demopoulos, after her last win, she knocked down Maria Oliveira in the second round. And then in the third round, she was very tired. And Oliveira was able to land a lot of shots and almost finished her in the last minute. Demopoulos, right after that, plucked it out of Fight Ready and dropped down in Factory X. So she's been training at Factory X since uh, January to get ready for this matchup. Hopefully the cardio improved as it goes on because you know Kovalkiewicz is one of those fighters that can really keep it going as it Very goes. Steady. But like I said, win streaks are on the line in this matchup. I hope we don't see a grappling heavy version of Carolina because yeah. she has started to fade toward that as her career has extended. Because again, she's not really the elbow queen type of fighter that she once was when she fought for the title or even right after she fought for the title. Remember that crazy fight against Felice Herring where she just got her in the Muay Thai clinch and threw elbows for basically 15 straight minutes? We don't necessarily see that version of her anymore and she has implemented a lot more grappling into her fights. I'm not saying she's going to go out there and just start shooting double legs like she's uh, Chael Sonnen, but if she does find herself in the clinch and not as aggressive with her striking, maybe just holding into some positions, that's going to give Demopolis the opportunity to go in there and go for some of those weird kind of clinch trips and whatnot. Because Demopolis, again, she's not going to look like Chael out there either. It's not going to be a lot of big double legs, single legs. She's going to go for a lot of unorthodox takedown attempts. That's why, of course, the clinch is probably going to be the most important position on in this fight of any fight on this whole entire card. Because Carolina makes you pay for it with elbows, whereas Vanessa is going to go for a lot of her own takedown attempts out of that position. So whoever's winning the clinch is more likely going to win the fight. I don't know if I've ever picked Carolina Kovalkiewicz to win a fight on this entire channel. Really? And when I look at Kovalkiewicz taking on Demopoulos, Demopoulos, better grappler. She throws a lot more power out there in her strikes, not necessarily landing a lot of those power shots. And Carolina likes to pick and, and pop some of those power shots in there. And Carolina, kind of like Gilbert Urbina, pop, 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 pop. She'll throw that jab out there, throw that jab, throw that jab, mix in the right hand. Then she'll go to the body with some of her shots too. She likes to mix it up body head quite a bit, which is what you have in Angela Hill, who's fighting Mackenzie Dern in the main event on this one. But I was going to say, what's the weirdest thing I could say about the fight other than I never picked Carolina Kovalkiewicz in this one? In 2010, Scrabble appended their rules for names. So now you can use names in Scrabble. Who has the bigger Scrabble score with their names? Carolina Kovalkiewicz or Vanessa Demopoulos? Ah, uh, Carolina. Carolina has a Scrabble score of 49. Demopolis only 25. Very yeah, long I names. Think it was close. Different There's Scrabble scores. There's a Z scores. in one of them. When I do look at this, Matt, I mean, for Kovalkiewicz, 7-7 seven and seven in the UFC, a fight of the night was a split decision against Rose Namajunas where she earned the title shot and then got lit up in that one. For Vanessa Demopolis, 3-1 and one in the UFC she so far. She and looked okay. A performance of the night bonus over one Silvana gomez Juarez, where she got dropped and then she got the submission victory. She has a win over Sam Hughes that you really like to see. But again, when you do look at this one, you got to watch out for that overhand right out of Demopolis, and she'll really step in with a lot of that power in these these mix-ups here. I just don't think she's just got Draj, though. And, like, that's the type of fighter and that's the type of power you really need to hurt someone like Kovalkiewicz on the feet, unless you do have overwhelming output like a lot of these other opponents do. So I could see a world where Vanessa Demopolis can mix all of her martial arts to the, like, extreme, but I still do favor Carolina in the matchup. Again, I don't think she's going to get herself back to the title. She's 37 years old. She is probably past her prime in all likelihood, you bring up 7-7, seven and seven, got to a title shot early in her career. So a lot of those losses have come as of late. But again, I do like her output on the feet. I think she can make Vanessa pay in a lot of those clinch situations. I mean, Carolina looks poised to go back on a title run. Maybe Takashi Sato could do that because Kovalkiewicz had that four-fight losing yeah, streak. Yeah, she looked terrible. Now she's on the way back, and Sato on a three-fight losing streak that's also in this card. Kovalkiewicz, 75% takedown defense in the UFC. Nam Yunus, Yan Zhao Nan, and uh, who else? I guess Gedalia had success against her. Gedalia well, she checked her out. Got the submission early on in that matchup. You have a look at the odds. Kovalkiewicz is a slight favorite, minus 150. Demopolis, slight underdog. We have a look at the top all you vote. Surprise, that's there to you. I'm going to say over-under. I think it's going to be close. Over-under, 65% Kovalkiewicz. I think it'll be over. And it's not. It's under. 972 total votes. That's funny. 54% Kovalkiewicz. 92% by decision for the 46% that have Demopolis. 77% by decision. And when you look at Kovalkiewicz, when she was able to, or when she was taking on Penne, accepted the fight down to the mat, got submitted. Uh, Wash saying, these guys love to play both sides, LOL. That's the point of the show. We like to give the fighters the credit they deserve and not bash them and then tag them on Twitter like other shows will do. But when I look at a matchup like this, Matt, what I do like out of Kovalkiewicz, going back and watching some of the tape, 
Jody Escabel, size-wise and striking-wise, is a lot like Vanessa Demopoulos. And I know Escabel took that fight on short notice. Also, Kovalkiewicz was ranked in the top five at that point. But when Escabel was in those resets and going for those power shots, Kovalkiewicz was able to time a lot of her counters. Now, she's much older than she was then. Much. But I still do like some of the speed that I've seen out of Kovalkiewicz and the fact that she's still been able to string some of those conversations together. So for those reasons... I will go with Kovalkiewicz in the matchup for one of the first times in the channel's history. Yeah, I've also got Carolina. Both of us going with Kovalkiewicz in the matchup, Matt. The next one on the card, a couple of lightweights that really need wins. We have Mahashata taking on Slava Claus. Slava Borshev. You're not going to want to miss it.